Welcome back to PSC Stack Bytes. Today I want to talk with you about how you can uh, execute the PMP provisioning templates uh, providing custom parameters. First of all, let me clarify that a PMP provisioning template uh, is a template for the remote provisioning engine provided by PMP, which targets SharePoint Online or SharePoint On-Premises, and which in the near future will be also able to provision stuff uh, against Microsoft Teams, uh, Azure Active Directory, and much more in the future. The uh, provisioning engine uses the idea of a template file, which can be defined as an XML file or as a .pmp file, which is actually an open XML file, which will include the original XML file together with any additional assets that you need to provision. In order to provision stuff with the provisioning engine, you can use a .NET code, like for example a C-sharp uh, uh, solution like a job or a function, or you can use a PowerShell. And whenever you define a provisioning template within the XML file, you can declare custom parameters. Maybe you are wondering why there are the parameters in a provisioning template and how you can use them. Well, you can have custom parameters because, for example, you want to update through custom tokens, properties like the display name of an artifact that you want to provision or the URL of a site that you want to create or something like that. Moreover, you can use uh, uh, the template to customize the behavior of the engine so that you can slightly change what will be provisioned based on the actual value of the parameters that you provide to the template. They are defined in the XML template file. You can provide them through the dash parameter argument uh, using PowerShell, for example. And within the XML of the template, you can reference uh, a predefined parameter using the curly bracket syntax, which will reference to the parameter token and providing the name of the parameter token. So let me switch to the demo environment and let me show you how to play with custom parameters and the PMP provisioning engine. In order to help you understand how to customize a template with custom parameters, I'm going to show you the SharePoint Starter Kit solution, which is available on GitHub as an open source project under github.com slash SharePoint slash SP starter kit. This solution is an open source solution where you can find a bunch of examples of client side web parts and client side extensions put all together in a unique uh, site, a modern site solution that you can automatically provision on your target environment uh, using the provisioning engine or the provisioning service of PMP. Inside this open source solution, there is a provisioning folder in which we defined uh, the XML template uh, for the uh, whole solution. Here, if we click on the uh, XML file, you can see we have a section called Preferences inside the PMP provisioning root element. And inside the preference, we can define a section called Parameters, where every single item here is a parameter with a specific name or key and with a specific default value. Now, those parameters are defined at the very beginning of the template and can be referenced inside the template simply by doing that, simply by using the curly bracket parameter uh, keyword. Here you can see, for example, we are referencing the parameter called company. To build, uh, dynamically build the name of a team that we are going to provision on the target tenant, which will be called the name, the value of the company name parameter that we have, plus HR. So it is really powerful because you can do that whenever you want to define the value of a string, but you can also use it, for example, defining a custom URL or a title of an item and stuff like that. And whenever you have a parameter defined in the XML, you can always provide a value different from the default one using the apply PMP tenant template or the apply PMP provisioning template providing the path of your template and the parameters as an array of values. So here we provide the parameter one with its value, parameter two with its value and so on and so forth. So pretty easy, but really powerful because you can customize the uh, final and overall result of a provisioning template using these parameters. As usual, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.